Huh. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying... Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. It's five o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Hmm? Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No. We're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it. <laughs> huh? What was that about? How should I know? Thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. By the way, Ace, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? What? What kind of question? Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Who else would you be? Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Well, what? What is going on? <laughs> the clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. Impossible. So, you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. One plus seven plus eight plus three equals 19. One plus nine would be 10. The digital route would be one. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't three. It's five, right? Huh? huh. You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. To, to think I was? Ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. <sighs> I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. Holy crap! <sighs> Ace, you have prosopagnosia, am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... 
Very well, I confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? You want to mock me for my disorder? No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. What do you mean? I'll just come right out with it. I have to hear this. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you... I have three pieces of evidence. Hit him. The first. Think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. There was no way all seven people could go through them. Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. <laughs> then you, Ace, said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. <sighs> you see? If Ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Door seven and eight. There was no way we could get through door three, the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh? You already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well, that's cool. I've still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. The second is that, as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? Junpei, they call that prejudice. No, I am not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. What? I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She said that Snake's left arm was prosthetic. He'd lost his real arm in an accident. But the body we saw in the shower room, let's call him Guy X. Guy X's left arm was definitely flesh and blood. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been Snake. Oh God, no, that's impossible. Let's say, hypothetically, that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't Snake. Even if the clothes were the same as Snake's, their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious they were different people. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was Snake and killed him. Wait. Wait just a moment. Let's say you're right, and I mistook Guy X for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. Why would I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. One, Snake knew about your past. If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad for you. You really didn't want that to happen. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. <sighs> Two. Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that, or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing your identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you, so you... Hey, hold on a minute. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The Nonary game was played once before nine years ago. 
the person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO Gentaro Hongo. What is this? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! That paper is a lie! Someone is trying to frame me! Me. You said me, right? <gasps> Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongo, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Someone is trying to set me up, you see? First of all, first of all, Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Snake all by myself? Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was. You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope. You could have. <gasps> huh? Huh? What? What? Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No! You couldn't have! I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> It's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? Damn, Jupin got him. Ace, Guy X, and the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. <sighs> if you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead. Tell me, I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. Well done, Junpei. As you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin on B-Deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root. As you can see, nine is a very useful number. With it, one can go anywhere with anyone. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments, I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet there was also an unexpected bonus. The knife the ninth man had used. I quickly pocketed both of them and left. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and hadn't noticed me. So who is guy X? That's what I want to know. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out. Snake. He turned around. He said nothing. 
His mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged. It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me? Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red, and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. The door opened. I threw the man through it. <laughs> Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the 1 a.m. bell rang. <sighs> Ace, did you kill Clover? Yes. Why? Why did you kill her? She was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one, too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report at the central stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. Hmm? Huh? But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was, therefore, desperate to find her. And at last I did, in the first-class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you, Did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't act, act as if you don't understand. understand. You, were you were in the, the captain's, captain's quarters, quarters, weren't you? Uh-huh. What are you, what talking, you talking about? about? Hmm. Very well. Uh. By, the, By way, the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. There's, There's blood, blood on your shoes. shoes. It, looks it looks fresh. fresh. <laughs> Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? Mm. I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw something, didn't you? You saw that his bracelet was gone. No! You aren't going anywhere. You're staying here. What a creep. <laughs> Don't, Don't you, you run, run, little girl. That was how I killed Clover. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <gasps> I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero. Not you. <sighs> I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I look the fool. And it was a trap, make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. The man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes, 
and that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. <sighs> it follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. <sighs> Zero is one of us. Huh? Zero is one of us? No. Wait. There's one more person. Snake. The man who died in the shower room isn't Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. Maybe Snake is Zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Hmm. Where's Snake now? What if he's off somewhere laughing at us? If he is Zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he watching us? I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? What the hell is this shit? You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch! We're gonna leave your ass here to rot! Why? Because I killed Clover? That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? She was nothing to you. A stranger you only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? You bastard! Blindsiding me with a punch, huh? You've got some fire, don't you? I confess, I rather like a tough woman. Well, maybe you'd like another one, then. Uh, before that, let me give you one of my own. Huh? If any of you so much as blink, I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make it four. Three people. Three people? What do you mean? Hmm. Very well. Let me take this opportunity to illuminate you. The person who killed the ninth man was me. Although I suppose to be more accurate, I encouraged him to get himself killed. <sighs> While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and told me his name. I recognized it at once, so I gave him a little push. Just a little white lie. It seems the settings for the dead were altered. Now it only requires a single person to deactivate the detonator in the bracelet. Investigate what's beyond door five. We'll meet again late, late. And with that. Okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then. Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied! Holy crap! Everything's coming around full circle. Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Uh. Oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! I had four reasons for killing him. As I said before, 
In the Nonary game, the number nine bracelet is of utmost importance. If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he, or it, would have become a threat to me. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. I wanted the number nine bracelet. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I would be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. It was important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Lastly, I wished to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Didn't I say? The nonary game was played. I planned it out, and I conducted its execution. Why? What on earth was it supposed to do? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Hey, what's with this gun? Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? The bastard must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. Indeed I did. That was a pretty serious mistake, you know. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Well, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. I have the number nine bracelet. And now I have Lotus. Isn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? That's where you're going, isn't it? And how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well... You are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Ah, and please, don't forget my warning. Move and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit! He's getting away! But we can't risk it. Now, Lotus, open the door for me if you would. <laughs> goodbye. Hey, June, what happened? Are you all right? Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You should be worrying about Lotus. But... Jumpy, don't worry about me. I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest. A little bit last time. So please, please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just gonna let her walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. As soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go! <sighs> huh. All right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Ace. Hell yeah! Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go! Where are they? I don't see them. You think they already went through? Maybe. Let's check the red. Engaged. It's occupied. 
That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it, it seems like it. What do we do now? Yeah, uh, what should we do? <sighs> well, the big door is still vacant, but... The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route is at nine. What's that sound? It's coming from over there. The coffin. Yeah. Let's open it. How? By force. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> well, you never know till you try, right? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. Who said that? Uh, I forget. <laughs> anyway, we've got to try. <laughs> Damn it! See? Didn't I tell you? If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not going to open. Was there some sort of clue somewhere? Hey, Junpei. I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Truth had gone. Or... Something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. <sighs> Come on, that's impossible. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up that safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Yeah, probably. Well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. That's ridiculous. Why don't you just try it? I mean, it's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. How do you know that? You never know until you try. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. If he didn't say it, I was going to say it. <sighs> <sighs> Who said that? You. Uh, fine. 1438. Three, four, two, one. What? You gotta be kidding me. Wait, what? Snake! What the hell? You? Why? Ah, those voices. Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Uh... <sighs> hmm. I see. I believe I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Yeah. <clears throat> but that still doesn't explain why you were trapped in here. We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that notary game that was played nine years ago? Hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, come on, just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? This is bad. We're running out of time. We need to go after Ace. What do we do now? The three of us can't make a digital root of nine. Yeah, we just get five. We're stuck here then. Oh, hey, I just remembered something. What? What is it? I, uh, I found something earlier. What did you find? This. Zero. Zero's bracelet. What did you say? 
Are you saying that Seven has the number zero bracelet? Yeah. Where did you get that? Clover gave it to me. She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Well, she found it. See, on the other side of door one, A deck, the captain's quarters. She asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. He even told us earlier. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basically, well, I did borrow one thing. My bad, guys. I thought... I thought he was done. He probably said that so Snake doesn't find out about Clover. All right, Junpei. Been nice knowing you. Wait, what? Come on, man. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Still, just in case, I want to make sure the Zero Bracelet gets picked up by the Red. Snake, give me a hand, all right? Why isn't it opening? Um, well, the third asterisk lit up, so it must have registered the zero bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Huh? What? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. That is what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we try a few different combinations? Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Oh, got it! Wow. Okay, um... Let's try Snake, me, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is two. Didn't open. I guess it's not two. Then? They decided to use the following combination. Okay, Junpei and seven. Junpei is five, three. I don't know, let's see. Let's try me, seven, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is six. Seem. That means the bracelet is actually six. But how is that possible? The display on the bracelet clearly shows a zero. Oh man, that's not good. I guess our time's just about up, huh? At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go! But, Snake, are you sure? Yeah. You know that only Junpei and I can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. My last resort. But if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? Last? Resort? Surprised me there, kid. I couldn't figure out how the hell you were gonna get out of that one. How come you didn't do that right off the bat? As I told you, it was a last resort. Had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. I imagine that most people would have taken it to mean that I was zero. Once they'd convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of making it out of here alive, let alone unscathed. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. 
That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do, I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. I'd just take my bracelet off. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. Oh, so he took off his prosthetic arm. That's clever. <laughs> I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's a fake arm. You don't have to be afraid of the door if you don't got a bracelet. You are correct. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. Let's go through that door. Incinerator? Oh my. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Do you see a lever near the gate, perhaps? Yeah, right over here. How did you know that? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story. I imagine it should only take half a day or so. Uh. Hmm. Uh. If you pull it, the door ought to open. Got it. Why? Why is there another one? Warning. Warning. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Automatic incineration will take place in nine minutes. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Oh my, how exciting. You've run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. It's said that the incineration system is about to activate. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in flame. Hmm. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. Snake? Oh yes, you are alive. I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake, Junpei, Seven. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a knife. Hmm. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? What? Ah, well, your reaction suggests that you did not. Uh, hold on! Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh, they haven't told you? Told me what? Hmm, clearly not. Normally I would take some time and enjoy the moment. But I'm afraid my time is at a premium just now. I'll have to make this quick. Clover... Don't do it, Ace! Keep your goddamn mouth shut! Clover... I said stop it! Don't listen to him, Snake! What happened to Clover? Clover died. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. I killed her myself, you see. What? I'm sorry, did I stutter? I killed her. <sighs> I would have rather she died with less suffering. A bullet in her brain, perhaps, would have been ideal. Unfortunately, that would have made quite a bit of noise. Circumstances being what they were, I was forced to settle for the knife. The one the ninth man had, you remember. <laughs> I believe I caught her just below the shoulder blade. I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Her flesh was so soft. Dude, Ace is a fucking creep. My knife slid in so easily. There was no resistance. That feeling was... I confess, I feel rather excited. It is a powerful memory. 
Someday, perhaps. I hope I can feel it again. Incineration will begin in seven minutes. I'm going to kill you. Hmm? What was that? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ah, so you are going to kill me. Please do. Come now. I'm waiting. Don't do it! Don't listen to him, Snake! Stop it, kid. He's screwing with your head. Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? Don't! The snake! Don't do it! <gasps> 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 Give me the woman. I need her. Without her bracelet, I will be unable to open this door. Quickly now! I don't have time for your shenanigans. I see. Then it would seem I have no choice. The rest of you must die as well. Fortunately, I have five bullets left. One for Junpei, another for Lotus, and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call Seven. I will take Lotus's body with me and leave this room. Incineration will begin in four minutes. Well, it looks as though our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it! Goodbye. Kill you? What? No, that's impossible. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. St stay away from me. Get back. Stop. If you come any closer, I'll... I'll... Get away from me. <sighs> Listen to me. I said, don't come any closer. Shit. You bastard. Get him, Snake. You, you son of a bitch! You, you're a monster! Get off me! Let me go, damn you! This is it, Ace. We're going to burn to death together. What? Doctors, you're, you're not wounded too seriously. I, I'm sure they can fix you up easily. You don't have to die. You could be saved. Just let me go. <laughs> Pathetic. Begging for your <coughs> life. Snake, that's enough. You can stop now. Yes, he's right, Snake. You've done enough. Come on, Snake, let's go. Let's get out of here. You have to come with us. We have to leave together. I apologize, but I'm afraid I can't do that. You'd best forget about me. You need to leave soon. I'm going to take him with me. Sheriff, be quiet! 
couldn't save Clover. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife she can forgive me. Now go. Go now. You have to go. Incineration will begin in one minute. God damn it! Shit! We're out of time! We gotta go! <sighs> uh, Junpei, what are you doing? You have to get out of here now! Snake! Snake! Wait! Don't be an idiot, Junpei! No! No! I have to help Snake! 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 Get off of me! Let me go! Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. Seven. Six. Damn it, I don't get a choice, kid! Don't blame me for this, alright? Wait, Junpei! Junpei, where are you going? You stay here. I'll go get Santa and June. You're gonna bring them here? How? Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait, all right? <laughs> <sighs> I saw an elevator on the way here. If I can get it to work, then maybe... Please work. Yes. Okay. I'm glad they mentioned Saint and June because I thought they were totally going to forget about them. June! Santa! Damn it. Where did they go? Honey. No, no. It, it can't be. It's it's impossible. 
Oh, Connie! Connie, Connie, are you all right? Jumpy? Uh. Oh, man. Connie, what the hell happened to you? You, you feel... Jumpy, I'm sorry. I, uh, I might not make it. No, no way, no way I am going to let you die. I am going to save you, I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much oh, for everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. Really happy. Don't give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. You, you just gotta hang on, all right, Connie? Jumpy, did you know you meant a lot to me when we were kids? I liked you. For a long time, Junpei, a really long time. Zero. You son of a bitch! Where are you hiding? What the hell are you talking about? No. No, it hasn't. I'm not gonna let it end yet. I'm gonna get out of here with Connie. Why? Because I chose the wrong path. The wrong path? What are you talking about? I told you! I am not gonna lose! What? Wait here. I'll be right back. I promise. What is going on? <sighs> Damn it. Where are you? It doesn't matter. I need to get Connie out first. C C Connie. Oh god. No. No. Where is she? Connie. Connie! 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 Huh? Wait. This is... White smoke. Holy crap, what was that? It's not the end, we know that for a fact. Let's see. Just want to see what emblem it gives us. We know it's a safe ending, of course, but I kind of want to see it. Ah, you see it. There we go. And save complete. We can access the flowchart from the beginning. And we have the safe ending. 
So pretty much folks, all we have to do now is pretty much just access the coffin ending. But I'll do that in another episode. This ending took a long time to freaking reach. I didn't think it would actually be that long just to see the entire thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are prepared for the true ending. In the meantime, you guys stay awesome. Love you. And I'll see you later. Peace.